possibly keep Aaron Rodgers for the next four years for a combined total of less than $85 million, which would be a huge bargain, and there's nothing he could do other than retire. However, the reason the Packers aren't going to do that, and while they legally can do that, it would be a dumb thing to do, is they know what Rodgers knows, what the whole league knows. He's been carrying this team oh for the better God. part of the decade. Single-handedly. They, they, they have not done a great job in free agency. They, well, they've not participated in free agency. Right. They have not done a great job in the draft. The, some of the better players they have drafted, they have then let go other places where they have thrived. Like, Aaron Rodgers has made the most out of mediocre no talent, question. and I would argue mediocre coaching. So you know what you do with that guy when he's the best player in the league, and he knows that Kirk Cousins is about to go get $30 million a year? Aaron, let's give you some more money. Yeah. Like, that's the least we can do for the best player, the most talented player in the history of the Not franchise. Not to mention they got rid of his quarterback coach in the offseason right. without even telling him. Right. Well, I was going to say, it looked like he was frustrated from that. You know, mm -hmm. he made the comments about it. And, and that may have had something to do with this, too. To say, look, we, we, we mishandled that. We should have talked to you about it. Here's a little gift so you don't worry about it. But, look, the guy is the greatest quarterback, I believe, in their franchise's history. And that's saying a lot. Yep. You know, Bart Starr, Brett Favre. But you take care of him. He's 34. He wants to play till he's 40 at least. And in this day and age, you know, who knows? He could play past 40. I mean, in all sports, guys are lasting a lot longer because of nutrition and training and all that stuff. I'm not going to sit here and say he can't go for – Close to a decade again, as as a uh, close to an elite Brady and Breeze are setting new rules yeah. for what we can expect of these older guys. I learned that the hard way this year, and what I anticipated from Brady, and then what he did in going to win the MVP. Rodgers is more talented than Brady. Like Brady, obviously, he's higher in the pantheon, has accomplished more. Yeah. But as far as raw talent, no question. he might be the most talented quarterback ever. He's the best player, like you mentioned, that this team's ever had. You you keep him happy, just period, point blank, even though you don't have to. You could play hardball with him. You don't play hardball with the best player you've ever had. All right, let's get back to our top story now, LeBron James. Last night he picked up his 12th triple-double this season in a win over the Nets, 67th triple-double of his career. He finished the month of February actually averaging a triple-double. To cap it off, he became the first player in NBA history last night with 30,000 points, 8,000 rebounds, and 8,000 assists. I mean, it sounds like the start of a joke. LeBron spoke about the achievement after the game. I've always uh, pride myself on being a triple threat player. I'm not a scorer, um, but I can put the ball in the hole. I rebound the ball to help my uh, teammates offensively and defensively. And I love to get my guys involved. And, um, you know, I, I always look at myself. I'm don't, I don't like to be compared to anybody. I feel like I'm a one-of-a-kind player. Um, I'm a player that's just, that this league has never seen before, and I take a lot of pride in that. And I want to continue that, you know, in the, in the near future. You know who just got really excited, Broussard? Oh, I, I wasn't right. excited. I, I just, I, I, you know how I feel. I, I don't. I prefer honest arrogance rather than false humility. And that was hey, honest. At least that he wasn't was, talking about himself in the third quarter. That was not okay? being arrogant. No. If, if Michael Jordan were sitting here and you said, man, you were a great <laughs> basketball player, he said, yeah. I was okay. Yeah. That's not being honest. Right. If he I said, yeah, totally I was great, that's you. not being arrogant. That's being truthful. And LeBron was being true. We have never seen anybody like him. Whether you think he's the greatest ever, I've got him number two. I know you, mm -hmm. you, you think you've got him number one, something like that. <laughs> okay. But he, we've never seen a player like him. They say the mixture of Magic and Michael, and that, that really is what he is. He's about 50%. Right in the middle. But do you think numbers like this? Because we talked earlier this morning, you think he'll be 40, 40,000, 10,000, 10,000. 40,000 is. I mean, that's what does impressive. he need to do to get to 40? To get to 40? Well, to, to only score 10,000 more points. No, no. no. But so only. Let, let's assume he plays five more seasons. That's 80 games a season. So call okay, it, what, th th it'd be 25 points a game for the next five years. I, I, that's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask. For the next five. It, it, he, probably it, the next three. Two. So, but, but if he plays more than five, too. but so but 40,000, 10,000, 10,000 is absolutely in play. 35,000, 10,000, 10,000 is almost, I would say, a lock. But go ahead. Say it does. Say he does get to that point. Mm -hmm. Numbers like this or the trajectory that he's on still at this stage, could that cement him, in your opinion, as the greatest player? No. I, the only thing, in my opinion, that's going to help LeBron, and the numbers are great. But to pass Michael Jordan 
you have to win more championships because LeBron's longevity is unheard of. And it's going to, his numbers overall are going to dwarf Michael Jordan's on an accumulative basis. But if you have a prime of, say, 17 or 18 years, and you only win three titles in that time, that could also be used against when you. When you say win more, you mean more than he has, not yes. necessarily more than Mike. No, no. You're I don't not think he has to yes. win seven. Okay, it's not about. all about championships, and it's not all about individual stats. Kobe Bryant has five championships. Most pundits, now a lot of players think Kobe's better than LeBron. Most pundits have LeBron, including myself and you, ahead of Kobe. I don't even, as great as Kobe is, I don't think it's an issue. Larry Bird only had three titles. Bill Russell had 11, but Michael Jordan's better. So Jordan was the perfect combination of winning and individual statistical dominance. And so LeBron will have the stats but he's got to win more championships. Four, let me just say this. If he could win a championship with this Cleveland team, and I, and I know that's putting a heck of a burden on him, but if he could win the championship and beat a Golden State team that has a, I think they're going to have four Hall of Famers. Yep, they will. With this cast of role players, That'll probably twice, <laughs> or even once, then I think it's a legitimate conversation with Jordan, it, here's but the not thing. until then. It's all, the reason it's already a legitimate conversation is because the discussion is not who is the most accomplished basketball player of all time. It is who is the best basketball player of all time. And so if we're talking accomplishments, the person we need to discuss more is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, because he's got six MVPs. He's got the scoring title. He's got the same number of rings as Jordan. He did over a longer period of time. If we're talking just winning, then the person we need to talk about is Bill Russell, yeah. as you mentioned. Won eight straight titles, won 11 out of 13 years, not even mentioning what he did in college. But we don't consider Kareem the greatest ever. We don't consider Russell the greatest Some ever. Some do, we, but most, most don't. Most people, it's Jordan. Yep. Even though he doesn't have the most rings, he doesn't have the most MVPs. Why he doesn't do you have think the most. It is? Well, there's there's a recency bias, but there's also because of what Chris said, which is it was a great combination of both. It was he looked he appeared to be the best player in the league by year three and continued to be the best player in the league through one retirement and two retirements, and because he walked off. The great is, listen, I, I, and I will give people think I don't like Jordan. I, 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 I hate him so much. I think he's the second greatest in the history of the world is something. It is also how he ended his career. To you're down to the Jazz. By, you're, you're down. You get a layup to score. You then steal the ball from Malone. You then hit the shot to win. On their sixth title to cement everything, the final 40 seconds, he's the only bull to touch the ball, and then he walks away seemingly forever. So that's the argument for Jordan. The argument for LeBron is he's better. The argument for LeBron so is the explain, I, so, give me that yeah, not that just route. numbers cuz I I can you I've heard you say name something Michael Jordan was better at than LeBron. Mm -hmm. I can name plenty. Okay, so you, you go ahead. He obviously the easiest mm -hmm. one free throws. Okay, free throws. I think he was a better Agreed. finisher at the rim. Than okay, LeBron. The, 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 even the, though he's smaller. And the numbers wouldn't agree with you on that. Their they're, they're field goal percentage at the rim or inside three point three feet is almost identical. LeBron's but, a better. But Jordan was finishing in the best era of seven footers of big men we've ever seen when you could get hammered. Okay, so, and if we're going to adjust for era, then we also have to recognize that when Jordan was playing, what you were allowed to do because of the illegal defense rules, you could put four guys on the other side of the court and make you make the team go one-on-one. -on -one. LeBron has to deal with zone defenses. LeBron well, has to deal with more... somewhat of a zone. LeBron has to that, deal with more, uh, I would say... Uh, more nuanced, complicated defenses. Jordan had to deal with more physical defenses. Yep. But so what is LeBron I think, I think Jordan's also has a better post game, had a better post game. Even though LeBron's big, Jordan killed it in the post. Jordan's back. I think Jordan was a better system player. LeBron is a system unto himself. Okay, so Jordan played in a system. He learned it at North Carolina, and I think that made it easier for if, him and his team. But if we're going to use the system argument, then that can also work against Michael Jordan because Jordan how? did it with Phil Jackson, one of the two greatest coaches ever. Lebron but how with does that multiple work coaches him? Because that is the benefit of the system in LeBron which he was in. becomes the system. Now, that's a compliment to LeBron because he's so a great. Absolutely right. The fact that LeBron James has never been injured, the only great athlete that I I know of in the history of major American sports to never suffer an injury. The fact that LeBron has done this now over, he has been the best player in the league 
for 11 consecutive seasons. That is unheard of. You mentioned he's the only member of the 30,000, 8,000, 8,000 club. He's the only member of the 18,000, 8,000, 8,000 club. Think of it, take 12,000 points away. He's still the only guy to do it. How about the 25, 5, and 5 club? 25,000, 5,000, 5,000. Here's that list. Kareem, Carl, LeBron, Jordan, KG, Oscar, Kobe, Jerry West, John Havlicek. That's taking away 3,000 assists, 3,000 rebounds, 5,000 points. Let's do one other thing. Let's go. Let's just cut his numbers in half. He's got, hold on one second. He's got 30,000, 8,000, 8,000. Let's say he had 15,000, 4,000, 4,000. Only 36 guys have done that. Every single one of them who's eligible is a Hall of Famer. LeBron's made the Hall of Fame twice based on his numbers. So I know, you, I mean, think about that. You take, take half his numbers you're away. Just, you're just numbers, numbers. It's not just about numbers. Okay. If it's just about numbers, I could make an argument for Wilt Chamberlain. Now, sure. he doesn't have the longevity. Nope. I could make an argument, as you said, for Kareem. But sure. here's the thing with Kareem. When he won... Maybe his last three titles. He wasn't the best he player. He wasn't in team. his prime. And he won the best player on yeah, his team. Yeah, and, and so Jordan, I, like I said, the way LeBron has put the Eastern Conference on lock, mm -hmm. where we know it's LeBron James, period, nobody's even competing with him. Jordan did that with the whole NBA. Oh, but so, the whole NBA. Okay, and so, and I know people like to make the argument, well, and Jordan, they would have won eight straight. Well, maybe, or maybe. We the, never saw him lose. That's we, all I know. We, no, but we saw him quit twice. So I'm quit twice. Retire? No, no, no. Or quit? No, no, no. You get to retire. There's a difference. No, I agree. You, you retire when you're actually done. You quit when you can come back. You don't get to retire three times. You can't Wait, retire who? three separate times. Is that your definition of yes. the word retire? Yeah, that is my that's definition not, of the word That's retire. not the world's it's definition not, okay. of the word retire. The, 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 idea, the, the idea that Jordan gets credit, by the way, when you say we never saw him lose, we saw him lose plenty. Just not in the finals. Well, the idea that Jordan he, gets credit. Once he came of age and was ready to win. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I mean, okay, sure. Once he came of age and was ready to LeBron win. LeBron had to come of age and be ready to except, win, too. Right, except for that year that he was of age, had already won three championships, and got bounced by the Magic. Oh, because he was playing baseball for a year and well, a half listen, uh, and listen, decided to throw in some listen, sneakers, it, some Air Jordans, was, and let me go hoop. Okay. So, you going to hold that against me? No, well, what I know is part of his greatness legacy is that year scoring the double nickel in the garden. I, he was good enough for that. That's good enough way, for that. But way we're not down. allowed to talk about the magic way, way we're down. not allowed to ask the question you know as great as those Bulls teams were the one thing they never faced in the NBA Finals was a team with a dominant center never they won. faced them in the playoffs oh. Shaquille O'Neal Patrick the Ewing. okay well so the Shaquille O'Neal they team had to go them. through Ewing the, almost every year the Shaquille O'Neal team beat them okay they did, then didn't then Jordan they, they come back the after year. getting they, a little bit of training sure, in the they, summer they, a little training. and demolished the, Shaq they, they, they <laughs> then did beat them the following year but it, there's a fair question asked if Akeem Olajuwon and the Rockets would have beaten those Bulls. It's another fair question to ask. Would he have won the three on the back end if he didn't have the two years off? Where you're saying he wasn't... He, I, right? The longevity I, argument mm -hmm. is huge for LeBron, but this is what I say. Again, I need more rings in his Okay, well, the, the, they're prime. coming, so don't okay. worry about that. They're coming. He just had maybe the best month of his career. He's in year 15, he's no, over 50,000. There's minutes. no argument longevity. Why don't you just ask him what kind of sneakers he's wearing right oh, now? Oh, I, I know. What do you mean? I'm not wearing LeBron's. No, what are aren't you they Air about? Jordans? No, no, Jenna. Oh. Never mind. I had that waiting for like the last 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and I, I saw them earlier. They're there very you. fancy. Thank I you, will Jack. tell you, I thoroughly Let's just call him Jordans for the sake of the... For the sake Jordan, of me. Wearing, I no, can't believe he's wearing Jordans. He's wearing LeBron's. It's unbelievable. Uh, there's, it's, like, it's like music. It's like music listening to you both. And you both Look, have solid arguments. I, I have give been you viewed that. as LeBron James' biggest fan in the media. I took that corner Nick from you. And Shannon Sharp came along. Now I look like I'm a hater. Come on, I love LeBron. Number two. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break from this, but I'm sure this is going to go on throughout the commercial break. Coming up, could this really be the year for the Houston Rockets? We're going to talk about a new team. New team. Next on First Things First.